Hey, Nate, so happy to see that you made a man. I am doing well tonight. I uh, decided to try out Jimmy Neutron here. I couldn't remember exactly what games you requested earlier, so I had to double check, and I saw it was uh, between TAC or Jimmy Neutron, and uh, I don't know anything about this game, so who knows, maybe I'll end up loving it, but I feel like there's a better chance I'll end up wanting to, to completely play through TAC than Jimmy Neutron. With that said, though, I did love the television show growing up, so who knows, right? All right. Just getting ready to get it started here now. Get settled in, get comfy, get ready to play a couple hours. Streams are in a little bit high tonight, but oh well. It happens. Let's get going, shall we? So for anybody just joining us tonight on the stream or on the VOD or whatever it may be, this is part of my PlayStation 2 gauntlet where I'm trying to collect and stream a little bit of every North American PS2 game. It's uh, been fun so far, man. We are what? Let me check it real quick, actually. We are roughly... Uh, it won't let me... Just want to do that... I can't get a good count on it, but we are, well, we're about 0.67% of the way through. I was trying to get an exact count, but I guess why I could just sort my sheet here that I use. We are roughly 12 games in so far, as far as the stream goes, uh, and then a fair bit more of that for what I own. So it's going along pretty nicely. And, uh, yeah, tonight we're playing a little bit of Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. Hopefully it's pretty decent. It looks pretty decent from the little, like, pre-roll stuff that's playing here and whatnot. But I have no idea. Mr. Noodle says because I'm late for everything. I mean, you're not completely wrong. <laughs> I'm not late for literally everything, but, uh, you know, a fair bit. Uh, okay, I don't think we need to really mess with any of the options here. There's nothing too exciting in there. Got some bonus material? I'm guessing we had to unlock this stuff though here, right? Bonus movies? Fairly odd. Oh, okay. So these are like trailers for other games. Oh, TAC 2. Oh yeah, I forgot that TAC ended up uh, becoming a Nickelodeon thing. They bought it, right? I'm pretty sure it wasn't made as a Nickelodeon thing. Pretty sure it was made as a, you know, independent series and then Nickelodeon kind of bought the rights to it if I remember correctly Sir Noodle says it runs on my family yeah I mean you're not wrong about that either <laughs> my mother's side we, we tend to be late for stuff fashionably late you know it wouldn't be right to show up early Ugh. what are you up to tonight Nate you work more on your controller or Preparing for D&D tomorrow? What you got going on, man? Same on both. <laughs> the being late thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it largely comes from the fact that I kind of, sort of, just wish I could be a hermit. And never leave. Comet, I give you the remote powered mini comet. <laughs> You're slipping, Neutron. Real comets have long, pretty tails, not little stumpy ones. Only when they're filtered through the spectral light of the sun, Vortex. Care to tell me how I get a giant hot ball of gaseous radioactivity into the classroom? Hello, children! Ah! Get it off me! Down, boy! Down! Uh, whose comet is this? <laughs> oh, that tickles! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not the face! Ah! And that concludes my presentation. Thank you. Mr. Neutron, you're lucky I'm in a good mood today. And do you know why I am? Because your mom packed your favorite lunch? Kara? Principal Willoughby's mom doesn't pack his lunch. He probably has his butler do it for him. Duh. Oh, did your butler rub your tummy when she put you on the school bus and tell you your lunch is made with love? Oh, stop talking! No, 
I'm happy because the Lindbergh School Chorus has been asked to sing at the opening of the town's new stadium. Oh, how exciting! Awesome. Now my singing talents can be revealed to the whole world. And apparently some other upstart band called Grey Star will be playing as well. Grey Star! Grey Star! Grey Star! Oh my god, that is so cool. Now kids, quiet down. Shh, shh, shh. Thank you. The auditions for the chorus will begin after school today, as the stadium opening is only a few days away. <laughs> well, I hope to see everyone there. At least the talented ones. I'll be there. Well, I have to get back to my lab and make preparations for my trip to Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3, the comet. You know yeah, the comet that. that I have just been describing to the class? Uh... Ah! Okay, Sheen, I gotta go. Good luck at the chorus rehearsal. Right, like I'll need it. Besides, no one has been rejected from the Lindbergh chorus in 50 years. Is he gonna be rejected? I feel like he's gonna end up being rejected for the chorus. It looks surprisingly decent, though. Jimmy they did Utah a pretty good job with the... A comet cometh. I didn't expect a narrator to suddenly yell at me. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, they did a pretty decent job, at least with the cutscenes there. It's been a long time since I've seen Jimmy Neutron. According oh. to my calculations, Twonkus 3 is finally coming into range. More, more, more cutscenes. Looks a little unstable, but I can't wait to see what scientific samples I can bring back from up there. All I need to do now is find the parts I need to fix my rocket ship, and I can blast off. Okay, that one's pretty short at least. Turn the game volume back down a little bit now that we're done with that. Alrighty. So you move with the left stick. Nice. Turn the camera with the right stick. Very nice. We got a quest menu here. Journal, whatever the hell you want to call it. See Goddard and Power Room. Use lift to access top level. Create a super invention. Explore the cub house. clubhouse. Got progress, trophies. Okay, okay, not bad. That's our option menu, yep. Uh, inventor face, <laughs> okay. So we got gizmos, inventions. So, I mean, we can't really work on anything right now, I guess, but I guess that's like some sort of crafting menu or something, maybe? It's a recenter camera button. Ooh. What is this? Is that our menu for like equipping our power-ups and crap? Hello, Jimmy. If you ever see the interact icon, move close to it and press the triangle button to see what happens. Do this now. Okay. Excellent, Jimmy. Other objects you can interact with are now in the control room. Try them out and meet me in the lab when you are finished. Why though? Like, does it do something for us interacting with all this stuff? I need to check the visuals real quick here. Usually I stream like with OBS up on one screen and then the game up on a different one. But I had OBS up like playing the game through OBS this time. I just want to make sure that the game didn't look overly like saturated or, or dark or anything like that. It does look a tiny bit dark. Is that just the other screen, though? Let me just double check here real quick. Yeah, that's mostly just the other screen. But I think it could be a little bit better. I'm going to mess with it a little bit real quick before we get too deep into it. Let me see here. So if I change color space. That's maybe better that's definitely darker what if we do that and then I'm mess with this here. yes 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 we know we're working on something woman give us a minute okay hmm i don't know if i can change anything else here right now Where advanced color format? 
Yeah, it is a little bit dark. I see that. It's a. Uh, it's not a whole lot darker than what it is on like my normal screen without going through the OBS here, but it is a little bit. Sadly, I can't really change those settings without killing the stream. So I think I am going to kill the stream real quick and then just come right back. I apologize for for that. I know it's a little bit annoying, but I just want to get it fixed real quick. And then hopefully we won't have to mess with it anymore after that. But yeah, give me just one moment. All right, I don't know if anybody can still hear me. I messed around with the settings. It didn't really make much of a difference, sadly. So I'm gonna go into my filters here. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I can really change, to be honest, sadly. Oh no, don't add a chroma key. Like, it's not that far off. Like, it's fine. But I, I wouldn't mind it being better, of course. I mean, like, I can up the gamma. But then that just starts making it look dirty like that. So, <laughs> don't want to do that. Can up the contrast a little bit, maybe? Maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Add a little bit of extra contrast to it. Because lowering the contrast would make it darker. Raising it would do that. So, add a little bit of extra contrast to it. What happens if we do just add more brightness? That just washes it out. Yeah. So we don't want to. We don't want to mess with that. Ooh, we can really make that <laughs> look a little, a little wonky there. Put that back where it was. Filters, color correction. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything I can do about it, sadly. I think it's just gonna be a tiny bit darker. Like, again, it's not that much different than what I got on my side, but... But shoot. I guess it is what it is. The sooner you're done. I, mean, I boosted the contrast that helped a little bit i think just going to do a comparison again real quick and put so that's what it looks like there and then hdmi 2 yeah hmm yeah i don't know man Follow me, Jimmy, for your next instruction. Input. my 2. Can I see... Yeah, I mean, if anybody knows and has any suggestions, I'm, I'm completely open to it, but I don't think there's anything I can really do. I think uh I think we're just gonna have to deal with it being a little bit darker than usual. Well then the game actually is at least, right? I mean Jimmy, the sooner you follow me, the sooner you're done. It doesn't look all that much different than it did before. Oh, that really makes it darker. Yeah, definitely leave it on that. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I mean, I'll, I'll play with some other settings after this stream, I guess. See what we can figure out, but for now, I don't want to delay the stream any longer. We've been we've been doing this since, uh, like, 13 minutes now, just messing around with settings. That's no fun. <laughs> so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna go ahead and get into it. And I'll play around with settings and crap later. Deal? Deal. So I guess we're supposed to be looking at different crap here. Okay, so we can rotate things. Cool, I guess. 
I'm over here, Jimmy. I don't really... I don't really understand why we wanted to rotate that around and uh, <laughs> do all that, but I guess it's a thing we can do, because why not, right? Ah, home sweet home. Where would a genius be without his lab? Now I need to find those parts. I wonder if I can find them in the lower levels. Okay, Jimmy, you can control the camera with the right analog stick. Oh okay. god. Thank you. Yep. We figured that out already. I would love to if you'd let me. There you go. Rotating left. Rotating right. You may want to position the camera directly behind you. Press the L1 button. I think we can handle that. Go ahead yep. and try, Jimmy. If you'd let me. Excellent, Jimmy. Now follow me to the next lesson. Didn't know we had to take lessons here. You would think the boy genius would already know all this. You have activated a checkpoint. If you ever run out cool, cool. of health, you will return to the last checkpoint you have activated. So, Jimmy Neutron is an immortal, confirmed. You can collect objects when you walk over them. Pick up the object in front of you now. Got some markers, okay. A gizmo piece. See, it looks great in all these bright areas. It's just the really dark areas that look darker. So I wonder if that's just something that I'm going to be stuck with or if it's something I will even be able to fix. I guess I don't know. I think this one needs perfecting. Like I said, I'll mess with them more after the stream's over and see if I can get rid of it it being like extra dark in the dark areas but at this point i i, I don't know honestly just kind of sucks how many dark areas there are here because yeah it's making it a little bit rough on stream there Jimmy, the sooner you follow me the sooner you're done you can never eat just one sooner you follow me the sooner we're done where'd she go i wasn't paying attention oh there she is the glowing ball that is a computer somehow nice uh i think she's actually like an interdimensional being not a computer just you just a thought jump on different things throughout the game if you press the x button once you will do a normal jump press it a second time when you are in the air and you will do a double jump jump now okay to reach the pickup I mean, I assume this game was probably made for, you know, kids and fans of the cartoons and whatnot, so maybe such a handholdy tutorial was necessary, but I feel like probably not, right? Most kids and teenagers probably knew enough about video games to do simple stuff like moving the camera and jumping. The inventor face has four categories: gizmos, inventions, super inventions. See, this tutorial here might actually be useful. This is something unique to this game. But the rest of them, like, I didn't really need to be told how to turn the camera and stuff. Inventions require four objects. Press the up or down directional buttons to change category, and press the X button to move across to the objects. Press the up or down directional buttons in each column to change available objects. Then press the X button to see Ding if an invention Ding. can be created. If the pieces match up to create a new invention, it will be added to your inventory. You can see your current invention okay, okay. in the hypercube. To access the hypercube, oh, press the directional <laughs> button. Once the hypercube is visible, I can't control or skip this at all. This is just completely. Select a this is what we have to do. And press the X button to use it. Thank you. Great job, Jimmy. Now explore the lab and follow me to see Goddard when you are ready. So, <laughs> so we invented sneakers that leave a rainbow trail behind you. Is it an infinite trail or does it disappear after a while? 
I feel like it probably is going to disappear after a while, but I don't know. Now I just kind of want to paint this entire platform <laughs> with my, with my, what's it called? Scribble sneakers or <laughs> whatever it was. Jimmy, the sooner you follow me, the sooner you're done. Okay, fine. Wait, wait, wait. Was it disappearing? Ah, there it goes. See, it's disappearing. Oh, wait, the scribble sneakers aren't activated anymore. Ah, what happened to our scribble sneakers? Did they run out? I no. I am not going to try to write my name. <laughs> that is not happening. Wait, what happened when we were... <laughs> oh, man. These are some amazing sneakers, man. They can just write in the midair. Look at that. Jimmy Neutron's over here breaking the laws of physics. Some sort of drill. Oh, I see over on the left, it shows how much ink we have left, I guess. I see that now. Bit of a hallway for a loading zone. Classic trick there. Maybe Goddard can help you get that pickup, Jimmy. Goddard can help us get this pickup. Okay, let's talk to Goddard then. And you have found a well, I wanted to pick up the thing. When you pick it up, Goddard will I... have extra commands. They will be available from your hypercube. Keep an eye out for more upgrade packs. Why don't you try them out now? I mean, I would have already have picked it up if you would have let me. <laughs> Another invention piece for my inventory. Okay. Can we talk to Goddard now? Nope. Guess not. We can walk through his face, though. We are Goddard now. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> so... That was added to our invention face. So we got... A flashlight. Choose what to combine from your available items. But we don't have anything else, right? Unless... Can we combine something else here? No. Oh, I'm lost. How am I lost already? It didn't seem like we could do anything with Goddard. Yeah, there's no button or anything there. We picked the thing up. Was there something new in our hypercube? Nope. Okay, I guess we just had to follow her again. You don't have everything you will need, Jimmy. Well, what else do I need, robot lady? Wait, was that a pressure pad? I'm confused. Goddard, will you follow my my line here? Right. This should help me out. Wait, that's what we had to pick up? I thought I walked through that. I could have swore I had walked through that. May I am. We are we are not doing well with this one. <laughs> Alright, so we got come, sit, play dead. So I guess he's following us right now, and we want to get him to sit on that. So back up a little bit. Thank you. Sit, boy. And then we can pick up the calculator. Super important thing for a boy genius. Alright, computer lady, what are we doing now? You are my master, apparently. And I shall do thy bidding. Hit the button to go up. A genius never takes the stairs. Really? <laughs> we got genius points for pressing an elevator button. Nice. Cool. What's this, a blueprint? Found a blueprint. 
blueprint gym. Mm. Blueprints are plans to show you how to create some inventions. Check your inventor face at any time to see your blueprints. Okay. If I stick to these plans, I can't go wrong. You sure about that? Good work, Jimmy. You have I'm now pretty sure I could find a random set of blueprints that I've never seen before and screw it up pretty badly. To teach you some extra abilities at a later stage. That's it? I'm just gonna leave me now? Alright, well, let's check out what that blueprint is, I guess. Strato XXL Rocket? Few details. With a new chassis and engine for 2004, the Strato XXL has shown consistent speed in testing over the off-season. Oh, and you saw it flying to distant comets. Seems like that may be a little bit important. If we're going to fly to a comet here. What is this? Wow, an invention piece. I love how he puts his hand up, but then he's not even like holding the piece in his hand or anything like that. His hand's just glowing. You can't expect to go out in the world without enough things to invent with. <laughs> you shall not leave until I say you can. Okay. You must listen to the computer. The computer says you cannot leave, then you cannot leave. Okay, nothing else to pick up in here. Can we invent anything new and fancy? Can't move any of that stuff around. So I guess we're, we're probably looking for a third piece, maybe? Or wait, no. Remote control, calculator. Calculator, pla uh, okay. The blueprint doesn't tell us what we need, does it? No. So I guess we're just going to keep looking around the shop, try to find more crap. I don't really know what else to do here. So I didn't see anything else up here. Is there is there fall damage? Uh, well, we can't jump off of here, so who knows. I guess we just have to run back down to the bottom. Hmm, what are we missing? Oh, maybe is that a rocket? Maybe a super, invention object. a super invention object. How fancy! What does that let us do? Absolutely nothing. But it looks like maybe that's how we will end up building the rocket, is by messing around with that thing there. But we're still missing crap. Here's is that fuel soda toy? We gonna make a soda powered rocket to go to outer space? Uh, okay, we can just kind of chill in this bucket of red hot goo here. That's cool. Does interacting with it do anything? I think this one needs perfecting. Okay. I'm hoping these are all things that we can actually like use and mess with at some point. Because otherwise, why are they all sitting in here for us to for us to touch? If they're not even going to do anything, you know. If every time we click on it, it's just going to say, hey, this one still needs work. So I don't think that one extra piece of super invention stuff is enough for us to do anything. We still need two more. Okay. Well, it won't let us leave. There's nothing else to grab in here. So maybe in the next room there was something that we missed. Or maybe it added something now that the little mini tutorial thingy is done. Hey, Goddard. No. Oh, you know what? She didn't actually say we had to build the rocket before we could leave. She just said that we didn't have... There's no way we could leave without getting enough stuff to invent with. So maybe now that we got the soda bottle and the rocket booster or whatever it was, maybe now she'll let us leave. <laughs> maybe now we won't be trapped here. Oh, crap. There's another thing right there. How the hell did I miss that? Atomic vomit, a super invention object. Look like a wheel, maybe? Okay, am I being dumb? Is the other piece, like, right here in front of me? 
it's a very real possibility. Okay, it doesn't look like it. I think we got everything from this room now. Let's see if she'll let us leave, I suppose. We'll try. Let's see if our captor would be nice enough to let us have a day out. See some sun sunshine for once. Oh shoot, is that another piece right there? No, that's the button for the elevator, okay. <laughs> that's like, oh crap, did we walk right past something again? Oh wait, this is that room. Yeah, there is nothing else in there. Fairly certain, at least. There was nothing else in there. Check over here. Gotta, gotta call the elevator back up. Oh no, we can't! It's broken! Ah. Oh. Whatever will we do? Oh shit, we can't jump down either. Alright, I guess we gotta run back downstairs again. You know what, that's fine. Would hate to let people do things quick and easy, you know? Okay, so where was that button for the elevator at? There it is. Right next to the elevator. Who would have guessed? Seems kind of ridiculous to have a system, Jimmy, where you can get trapped downstairs. I think maybe you should fix that other button. Like, why not just have the elevator be a little thing to the side here that brings you up here instead of it being the literal platform to get from one side to the other? Doesn't seem very geniusy for a boy genius. Ah, oh, but it looks like she'll let us leave now. Thank you so much, computer lady. For having benevolence on us. Okay, can't mess with any of this crap. Uh, this thing sounds scary. Oh. Oh, that's how we get up and down, okay. And then some skis. With this object, I could make an incredible super invention. Yeah, what kind of incredible super invention are we talking about, Jimmy? Please do tell me. What are we going to make with bicycle wheels, a soda bottle, some skis, and a rocket engine? Because if you try to tell me we're going to build a rocket with this, I am calling you a liar. No. Nope. I refuse to believe it. That didn't happen. We did not make a freaking rocket out of <laughs> just those items there. This game is lying to us. All of us. So, can we use the rocket now? What's this do? Ooh. Some goggles. Those are important while you're trying to, to invent and things, you know? So that will probably take us back down. Can we actually leave? He seems a little too excited for that. Like he's never seen the light of day before. So Jimmy, guess what? My folks said I could get a new pet as long as it doesn't set off my allergies. That's great, Carl. Uh-huh. So you want to come to the pet store and hold the animals up while I sniff them? Uh, sorry, Carl. I have a date with Twonkus 3. Twonkus 3? Yep. It's a comet that is entering Earth's orbit in... You can blow it out! Gotta run! Twonkus 3 is entering Earth's orbit in an hour! So, what I miss? Haven't we explained? I'm communicating a comet and I have to go sniff animals. And what? Say I'm the weird one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Got Haven't we explained what Twonkus 3 is a couple times now? That and uh, Sheen's eyes there were looking a little freaky, man. They were like a little too far back in his head. Just, just, just a wee bit scary looking there, Sheen. Saving, saving. Mr. Noodle and Nate. Mr. Noodles.
rude. Don't let her lie to anybody out there. <laughs> yeah, I'll play around a little bit with my like encoding settings and whatnot and see if there's anything else that I can do. Blast off. You know I'm joking, Mr. Noodle. You're only rude sometimes. Oh jeez. Having trouble whenever it looks too dark. Let's go into space where it's just like pitch black. Oh no, okay. Uh, can we shoot somehow? Square. We actually have to press square though. You can't like hold it down. Hate to make it easy. That was actually a little scary. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, so we don't seem to be able to blow up the big junk. But we can blow up the little comets or, or, or space rocks. <laughs> I guess they're not really comets, are they? Or, is it comets that are the little ones or the asteroids? I can never remember which is which. Is that the International Space Station? I need to stop at this discarded space station and pick up some neutronium Wait, it's discarded? Better land away from those defense systems that are firing at the meteor storm. Why the hell is there an entire space station just discarded in this universe? I'd like to point out that he's super worried about, like, it being Zeo Grav around here. But he's not wearing any sort of helmet or anything. Either in his ship or at this space station in the middle of space. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, Jimmy. I think maybe you got bigger things to deal with right now. Oh, we can't go any farther because of the tether. Okay. So we have to take the magnet and sneakers, I bet. Yep, yep. Now, what happens, though, if we try to do a stupid invention? Like, what does that do? Ah, uh, but we can't, can we? Nope. Okay, because the, the sneakers seem to be reusable, but the second thing isn't. I kind of wanted to try to take the magnet and put them on the goggles and see what would happen. <laughs> Uh, if we're using magnet shoes to stick to the space station, how are we going to just randomly fall off of it, right? Because there's no actual gravity here, so it doesn't matter if we're on the underside or the top side of it. So these fins should never actually be able to push us off. You know, for, for a boy genius, Jimmy, some of the stuff you say and do just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, bud. I'm just saying. So we got a battery. I don't really know what the batteries are for. To be honest, she may have said that at some point, the computer lady, but I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh, we made our way inside. I wasn't done exploring outside, though. There could be new cool invention stuff. Uh, or there could just be a... Oh. <laughs> Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. We all know them dimensional, dimensional time rips are so incredibly dangerous. We should really avoid those, and would hate for a a laser beam to do the same thing. I'm, I don't know what it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not genius enough to understand what's going on here, obviously. If I can rewire the power, I can shut off the laser turret. Okay. That's weird. Okay, so it has three configurations. So. Wait. So all we have to do is just hit the button a couple times? Also, I love how the blue button, it controls the blue. The pink button controls the red. And then the green button is mapped not to triangle. The green button on the controller, but to circle. The red one. Shouldn't the big red light be attached to the to the red button on the controller and then the green one be attached to Triangle maybe pink and red was just too similar. So they decided to have different ones for for the two or something. I don't know, but 
Yeah. Okay. Wait. What? Oh! I see what we were doing now. I didn't actually see what we were doing. We were rotating a mirror <laughs> with each of the buttons. I thought we were just, like, turning the lasers on and off or something. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, good. So we turn off the lasers, so now we can get through, but the whole place is going to blow up. Just a little detail. Didn't figure anybody really cared, you know, but hey. It seems like maybe I should have mentioned that before we turned off the lasers. I have to get across those panels quickly. Can we just walk across them? You sure about that? It looks like they're supporting your weight just fine, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, we walked across it pretty, pretty easily there, bud. Also, I just noticed that our shoes are getting pretty worn down. Maybe we should take them off and put them off on, or, or is there some way to re-up the energy level for that stuff? I don't know. Hurry, Jimmy, or you're going to be uh, in orbit, or whatever you said earlier. Cool. Um, let's get inside before we die. Can we do that? Uh, yeah, about that, Jimmy. You're literally gonna die. <laughs> Good thing we're an immortal being. <laughs> I guess we just had to do that little section over again. Uh, probably put the sneakers on before we go out. That seems like a decent idea. This is all that's needed to help. Yeah, I just kind of completely ignore what we said. Or wait. Wait, we already collected the stuff? Like, we still collected it even though we, we went into orbit? So, uh, it seems like death warps are a thing you can definitely do in this game then. So we just gotta get back to the ship, right? But wait, didn't Goddard take our ship? So where the hell are we going? Um... Wait, did we not collect it? I'm so confused. I thought... I thought we had already collected the fuel stuff. Because it looked like... I mean, maybe we do need to recollect it. That's perfectly reasonable. But it looked like, whenever we were over there, that the the glass shield thingy was a bit broken, like it was after we walked back across it. So I assume that we had already done this section. Or maybe... I guess they just never fixed the fact that we needed to collect the fuel rods, but they... Wait, no, we collected the fuel rods. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're so... Oh, Lord. Man, I am terrible. I guess we just weren't going back to where we left Goddard. No, we're going to the other side of the ship. I don't know if there's really any point in shooting this stuff instead of just dodging it. Like, do we get anything for it? Can we find new invention pieces? Maybe some, like, alien tech or something? That'd be pretty cool. I imagine, eventually, there'll be, like, pieces we can't dodge, right? I mean, it does kind of make it smaller. So, in theory, would make it easier to, to dodge around them, but... There it is, boy! Clock is three! The terrain looks a bit unstable, but I'll take us in for a nice, soft landing. I was hoping we would just, like, wreck into the side of it after he said that. We got an A. I don't know how we got an A, considering that we died, but... <laughs> sure, why not? A it is. A for everybody, man. Everybody deserves an A. Save over that one. Yes, that's fine. Oh, man. 
had to stretch a little bit. I just feel a little worn out today, you know? Jimmy Neutron in Crater Capers. Crater Capers? Aren't capers like those little flowery things that are pickled in jars that you can eat? So is this just like a crater completely full of them? I feel like they're pretty salty. It's probably not a good idea to eat that many of them in one sitting. Well, not a smooth landing, but a landing just the same. Now, how are we going to find our way back after we collect our samples? Oh, I get it. When we're done exploring, we'll let the music guide us back to the ship. Good idea, boy. Ah, that's a neat little, uh... Three. We're finally here, Goddard. Adventure beckons. A neat little detail in the game, right? Using directional audio to get back to your ship after you're done exploring. It's not something you've seen in, in games too often back on the PlayStation 2, I feel like. I still just want to know how we got all the way to that abandoned space station, though, with nothing but a bottle of soda pop powering our ship. But then we had to get extra fuel rods, like proper fuel rods, to get here to the comet. Alright, so I guess we just go into here and tell him to dig. Oh, excavator mode, okay. okay boy. Excavate here. I don't know why, but for some reason I was expecting him to dig like a normal dog, you know, not <laughs> not turn into a full on excavator. But I should have known better. <laughs> Good job, boy. You still have two mineral sites to find. How do you know this? Did he survey this comet before we got here to know how many mineral sites there are? And if that's the case, why doesn't he know where they're at? Pack for Goddard. Let's give it a try. If I throw this, Goddard will bring it back for me. Guess I could use it to have him break through things. Okay, boy. Fix the bomb. Go, boy. Just gonna smash through giant rocks for a bone, <laughs> like it's nothing. Goddard's actually a tank, too. If you didn't know. A mineral. This looks like a job for Goddard. All right, back into excavator mode, Goddard. You dug up the, the random yellow stuff. Dig up the random red stuff for us now. I mean, it's just glowing a little bit. I'm sure it's not radioactive or dangerous at all. It'll be fine. And mixing the three together? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Also, random diamond? Good job, boy. Wow, an invention piece. Okay, can we... Oh, no, that was an invention piece. So we can now take a remote control and a flashlight and a diamond. This doesn't look like a good idea. What happens... Oh, it won't actually let us make bad inventions. Like, we just can't press the X button at all, so we can only make predetermined things. By projecting a light through a pure diamond, the resultant beam can be used to affect non-animated objects. Okay. Like, what kind of non-animated objects? Uh, oh, it's a gun. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's what our power meter's for, too, at least... To a certain degree. We're using the battery pack to control that. But it was going down before, too. So I'm not sure why. So, how do I... I guess I just... I noticed that, like, when I held square, the power meter went up on it. Is that just how far I'm throwing it? Good job, boy. Probably the third mineral that we need to uncover. Maybe I can use the block. A gizmo piece. All right. Okay. So wait. Uh, that's another gizmo piece. Can we make a new gizmo finally? We can. 
We can't make sneaker crystals, though. <laughs> Goggles and crystals. What are we gonna get? Uh, X-ray vision glasses. Maybe. Maybe? I might actually be right. Uh, green. Um... Okay, I don't know how <laughs> this is helpful at all. <laughs> Some psychedelic glasses. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, I don't know what that does for us, bud. Okay, can we maybe... One mineral site to go. Yes. Yes, there is. But how do we get there? I don't see a wall for us to break. I'm thinking maybe we have to shoot something? I'm not sure. Let's try shooting stuff then, shall we? Unless these glasses are supposed to do something for us, but... I mean, I don't see... <laughs> it doesn't look like they're doing anything for us. Besides giving me the strong urge to... Oh wait, what are we... Thank you for the hint, Jimmy. Oh. Just completely destroy this comet. Have you ever heard of a cave-in, Jimmy? That's what you're about to have happen here. Oh no, we're blocked? I never could have seen that happening. Who would have ever imagined knocking down a supporting beam could block us in? Shooting that does nothing. I still don't know what to do. Oh, here we go. Can we jump up now? Hey, it gave us a staircase. Yay. Oh, how did Goddard get up here already? He probably flew this freaking jetpack. Why couldn't we just get on his back and get up here? Could've just flown us both up here, Goddard. Gosh. Thank you. The sooner we can get out of space, the better. Does not seem like a very child-friendly environment. So I'm assuming there's got to be some sort of enemy or something that appears at some point, right? Because it's Attack of the Twonkies. It shows some enemy thingies on the case. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious this game was made for kids, right? And if I was a little kid, I would probably love this a lot more than I do right now. But everything controls fine. Like, I don't have any major complaints with it or anything. It's just kind of simple. The humor doesn't really do it for me anymore. You know, Jimmy falling on his face isn't as funny as maybe it was when I was 10. <laughs> I love how we have to deal with this loading screen for it to load the announcer there. And then once the announcer loads, then it can start loading into the level. My rocket! That monster's destroying my rocket! Hey you! Get off my rocket! Look, that is an amazing little rocket there, isn't it? Wow, that was close! <laughs> I have to get to my ship. If that thing destroys it. I'll be stranded here forever! Ah! Whatever will we do? Do we shoot him? With a flashlight? Uh, probably should try not to get hit ourselves, though, eh? Okay, it doesn't seem to do anything to him. Oh no, okay, we just had to get in it. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have tried to power it with soda pop. 
I don't think a bottle of pop is very good rocket fuel, man. I'm just, I hate to tell you this. Also, that was a very short episode. We literally just ran to the rocket ship. <laughs> like, I think they could have made that boss battle a little more uh, grandiose, you know? I think that would have been acceptable. Save successful. Cool, cool. School days. Jimmy Neutron in school days. Ah, you get it. It's like a school day, but 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 school days because I'm assuming somebody's going to be in a in a daze of some sort. Hey guys. Hey Jimmy. Hi Jimmy. Guys, you'll never believe what happened on Twonkus Three. A giant monster tried to destroy my rocket. He was absolutely huge with spikes on his head and these huge teeth, and we barely got the rocket started in time to escape. That's really cool, Jimmy. I gotta sit down. Yeah, that's really exciting. What's wrong with you two? I couldn't find any pets that don't make me sneeze. Yeah, and I got rejected from the school chorus because I'm Called terrible. It. Oh, gee, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, the monster was throwing boulders at my ship, so that... Hey, Jimmy, um, why is there a soft, squishy thing digging itself out of that tank of stuff? Huh? Well, would you look at that? It must be a life form indigenous to Twonkus 3. Aw, oh, he's adorable. I'm gonna call him, um... Oh, I know, a Twonky. Can I keep him, Jimmy? Can I please, please, please? No, Carl. Keeping a space creature is a direct violation of scientific protocol. Plus, it might be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, as if something that cute could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, man. This is my favorite song ever. There's something that I gotta say. Uh, oh, well. Don't even try to walk away. Yeah, no. What is that? I don't know. It looks like the Twonky's gone through some sort of metamorphosis. Guys? Is it the music? Guys, you're missing my solo. Ah, it's hideous. Um, Jimmy, I don't think he's very cute and cuddly anymore. Damn, he got big quick. Oh. Heard a little bit of rock and roll and just went straight into puberty and now it's having babies? What the hell, man? <laughs> they are kind of cute when they're little, though. We'll go and try to find some help. Okay, so quickly grab invention stuff. Okay, we got a blueprint for something that I haven't looked at, so I don't know what it is. They're all just chilling. They don't even care about me. They don't seem all that dangerous. They just want to listen to some music and have a good time, man. Okay, well, I can't pick up the, the cheese gooeys or whatever the heck that says, so I'm assuming that's just like a health pickup. And then... Okay, so if I touch them, they do harm us, though. Can I invent anything? Let's see, we don't have any gizmos or invention. We did get a blueprint for a shrink ray. If I take a remote control, attach an antenna to it, maybe by using a rubber band, I should be able to create the shrink ray. So, where do I get an antenna from? Considering the circumstances, my hair looks pretty good. Am I blind? Oh, can we go through the door? <laughs> yeah, I am freaking blind today, man. All right. Supply closet. Surely there's just an old antenna chilling in the supply closet somewhere, right? Of course. Where else would you keep your antennas? But in a, a random cabinet in a supply closet. <laughs> Craft it. So what do we even pick that calculator up for if we're never going to use it? <laughs> uh, not that button. 
this button. Shrink them. Excuse me, Twonkies. I liked you better when you were small and cute, so... I say that you now become smart, or smart, small and cute again. <laughs> Wait, what? It just, it grew back up. Right, do we need to turn... Okay, I guess that's not what we need to make small. But it seems to only be affecting them. Ooh, myself. With a mirror. Yeah. There we go. We're smart. That's kind of neat. I'll give the game that one. That was a neat little puzzle. Alright, so you set loose an alien life form on Earth. And uh, now you're just going to leave them be to do their thing, huh? I'm sure this won't end poorly at all. Should collect all the cool Goddard has a locator scan mode that could be useful in finding stuff. Any particular kind of stuff or just just anything? Nope. There's nothing there. Okay. So I'm guessing that's just to help us find new invention pieces and stuff. That would make sense. Kind of just guide us towards the Whatever we need to collect. Also, Jimmy can kind of fly. Just a little bit. <laughs> Next room. Hey boy, I need you to keep looking for cool stuff I can use. Oh, okay. Nope. There's nothing there. Wait, what? Hey boy, I need you to keep looking for cool stuff I can use. So do we just keep doing it? So what's the range on this? Do we have to be... I guess we just have to be close to it. You would have thought just being in the hallway would have been enough, but no. Keep up the good work. A gizmo piece. All right. I don't think that's enough to make a gizmo now, is it? A box of goobies. So they're cheese goobies, is that what they are? Hey boy, oh nope, okay. Looking. Gotta keep looking. Nope. There's nothing there. I mean considering where we are and where he found that at, I'm guessing just each of these lockers nope. are where we need to search. Or each set of lockers, I mean. Goddard, see what you can sniff out around here. Come on, Goddard. It's not gonna be at the window. Oh, imagine that. Right there in the locker. Is that a cold pack? Keep Perfume bottle? Work, no, yarn Store, ball. An invention object. It's a yarn ball, right? We should try to guess what it is that we're going to invent. We got a, a yarn ball and a calculator <laughs> and a remote control. Uh, nope, there's nothing there. Yarn ball. Calculator, remote nope. control. Nothing there. I I'll be honest, I have no idea. Nope. There's nothing there. Nope. There's nothing there. Goddard, fine. Hey, what'd you get, boy? <laughs> you can just mess with this animation. And it's weird, like you can't push him from the back, but if you get in front of his face, you can just completely push him off track. And he doesn't even point in the right area anymore. Alright, so is that... A pack of cigarettes? I don't... <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, color chalk. So, I mean, isn't that the same thing that we had before? With the, the sneakers that can draw and stuff? Integrating the chalk particles into the plastic sole of the sneakers should leave an interesting effect behind. Yeah, but how does that actually help us at all? Anything in the trash can, Goddard? Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we might as well see what this, this interesting effect it's talking about is. 
maybe. If we can find it. Oh, we can't use it here. Well, what the hell? Is it because we don't have any electricity left for some reason? I don't think we can use the shrink ray anywhere around here, can we? Or no, we still have electricity left anyways, so. All right, I guess we'll just keep asking Goddard to find stuff. Here? How about here? There's gotta be something here, right? In this trash can? Nope. In this set of lockers? Nope. Okay. How about, crazy idea, this set of lockers? This trash can? Can we just magically go through the store now, even though we haven't crafted anything useful at all? Hey, there it is. We figured it out. <laughs> makes no sense, man. more about Twaga's story. I wonder where those books would be. Well, well. If it isn't little Jimmy Nerd Tron. Come in for your daily pummeling, have we? No, Butch. I don't want any trouble. These horrible creatures have escaped and are tearing the school up. I have to find out more information on them. Oh, you must think I look stupider than I... Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, okay. You must think that I'm stupider than I... <laughs> oh, no. No, wait, that's not it. I'll tell you what, if you come down here, I am going to pound you. Oh, blast. I have to find a way to get past him before those creatures escape into Retroville. Okay. Is that another blueprint? I feel like it's probably going to be another use something useful. What are the plans? They are for... That's the rocket blueprint. We already did that one. Why does it keep the blueprints after we've got it? It's not like we need to keep it around, right? We've already built the thing. So a retro wrench. Connecting a calculator up to a wrench using string. I should be able to invent the retro wrench. How does that make any sense? No. You could make like a really bad... Ah, oh, crap. What are they called? Um... Man, with the, the spike ball on a chain and you swing it at people... I'm completely blanking on what the heck they're called. You can make a really bad one of those with that, right? Just tie a calculator to the end of some string and then start swinging it around your head at people. Oh. <laughs> Try this. Are we supposed to be trying to drop these on his head? Maybe. You can play at that game. Okay, we got time. This right. We got this. We got this. Ready? Nope, too late. Damn. Ah! <laughs> Alright. So, I guess maybe we throw it when he turns around. There we go. Hey, that hurts. <laughs> just gonna freaking knock him out. Wait for him to get to the middle, walking toward, and go. We're gonna kill this kid. <laughs> oh, same one again. Okay. GG boy. Not such a big bad bully now, are you? Okay. You win this one, Nerdtron, but you better watch your back. Love how we got genius points for throwing books at a kid. Information on the Twonkus Three reference books is in the teacher's database at the reception desk. Okay. Well, good thing we got rid of what was his name, Butch, so that we can come down here now and look at that very database at the receptionist desk. I don't know why we had to wait. On the top level in the reference section. I better go and grab it. Oh yes, I love running back up and down the same set of stairs. I wonder if there are any spare. 
wonder what I can invent with this. Sure, it'll be something helpful at some point. But for now, Jimmy, it's vital that we go up here and collect this book on Twonkus. Because I'm sure you can find a book about a random comet or asteroid or whatever. And the alien species that live within it. At your school library, right? Wait. Was it not upstairs? I am not having much luck today. Hello? Wait, wasn't there a... Yeah. Defeat Bully and get Tonkus... Okay, well, that's... There it is. How the hell did we miss that triangle prompt? Okay, finally, here it is. Uh, Twonkus 3. It says here it has a special atmosphere that doesn't allow certain sound wave transmission. I wonder if that information will come in handy later. It also says there are no known inhabitants. I guess this book needs updating. Okay, alien creature, don't like sound. Maybe turn off the radio. Don't think anybody could have ever figured that out before, but... Oh wait, we can't actually leave yet. Okay, can we go back down here? Invisible walls, can't jump down, should have known that. I guess maybe we can go through these doors now? Yeah. Progression. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know how you find me, boy, but it's always good to see you. Also, more Twonkies. They are obviously multiplying. Okay, boy. Sniff around. I'm guessing it's going to be this locker right here. Just a wild, wild guess. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the sticker on it, the only one that was different from the rest. That's amazing. So we got an apple. That can be paired with a box of goobies. That's just a health snack, right? Just like, just, just something for health. It's got to be a health pack. Super health recharge, okay. Congratulations, Jimmy. You have been awarded a trophy. What do the trophies do? Anything? Nothing there. Can we see them somewhere? Uh circle, trophies. Gizmo Creator Award. Aw. We got an award, guys. That's cool, right? <laughs> Hey Goddard. Goddard, see what you can sniff out around here. Can I can I just open it maybe? Th this locker right here with the sticker on it. Hey, there's our wrench. Now we can make our, our thing. A retro wrench or whatever the hell it's called. What's the a retro wrench gonna do? Are you gonna smack things with it and it's going to become retro? Oh, it's to open things. Like, lockers? Nope. And so it's just a tool. It doesn't seem like we can use it anywhere. Or, or use it at, like, a weapon with square. I'll see you later, boy. Oh, we're actually allowed to leave? I thought it was going to make us explore more first. Sound waves. Use the sound waves, Jimmy. I wish these monsters would leave us alone. I mean, they don't seem to be attacking you or anything. They're just kind of chilling, right? It's not all that bad. Okay, so that doesn't seem to do anything. Lights would really come in handy here. Okay, can I can I turn them on maybe? Uh, are there lights around here? I need a main power switch. Thank you for that. Okay, so we turned the 
power. And oh, now we have to come over to the lights. Hey, look at that. We can now see the glowing green well, the thing. Well, the seemed to get their attention in the lab. I hope it works here, too. Uh, don't forget to turn the lights off before you leave. <laughs> now what, though? I don't seem to be able to... To leave. Yeah, well, let me leave. Do I just turn this back off now? Nope, can't turn it back off. Go through the exit. Nope. Um... Can recharge. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. By using my retro wrench, I can superpower the vent. Now let's power it up and see what happens. Now hold on. Wow, I might have made that a little too powerful. Oh, well, at least the kids are safe now. Yeah, but didn't you just unleash them on the town? Is that really any better? Oh, I turned off the lights while I was halfway across the room. I am that good, guys. Thank you, Jimmy. We'll wait here while you go get help. You're welcome. Not like this was all my fault anyways. Don't pull the fire alarm, kids. Unless, what, well, there's a fire. Then I guess it's kind of acceptable to do so. I think they just want cuddles, man. I've got to get those creatures away from this Fowl's classroom. I'm surprised the fire alarm's not doing the trick. You would think with, like, the loud sounds of it that they wouldn't be too much of a fan, but I guess it doesn't really bother them. Yet. Okay, is there another radio somewhere then? Mm, yep, there it is. Just had to walk all the way around to the janitor's closet. But wait, aren't we going to need to find a way out of the janitor's closet now? I feel like being in here with them isn't a great idea. <laughs> okay, well that didn't get all of them away, just some of them. Is that enough? Uh, classroom? Yep. Jimmy! Neutron. I could have guessed. Please. Tell me this isn't entirely your fault, as usual. Well, I knew it. Didn't I say that this had James Isaac Neutron written all over it? Didn't I say that? I did, didn't I? Indeed, you are such a clever man! Yes. Yes, I am. Now, these creatures I forgot are that she was like a bird. dangerous and a threat to the students, so I am calling a school emergency! Oh, brother. Now, Jimmy, <laughs> you exit through the main hall in a calm and orderly manner. Miss Fowl and I will go back and make sure there are no more children about. And her name's Miss Fowl. It's been a long time since I've seen this show, y'all. school emergency, people! Don't panic! Leave in a calm manner! Please don't raise your voices and you won't be able to hear me yelling at you! Come with me! Follow me oh, Lord you almighty. Run. Last thing to do in this one is now leave the school. That should be pretty easy, right? We just we just go out in the hallway and leave. The Tonkies aren't really doing anything anyways. I better go home and figure out how to stop them. Oh, we literally just had to walk out of the classroom. Okay. Bit of a shorter stream this one, I think. I'm a little bit tired, as I'm sure y'all can tell. And uh, this game honestly isn't really doing it for me. It's not terrible or anything, but it's just, uh, it's kind of obvious that it was made for children. You know? So I think uh, I think after this cutscene or whatever plays out at the beginning of this next one, I think we're gonna kind of call it there for that one. Jimmy Neutron. If people want to see it again once I get the, the video fixed and everything, and when I'm, I'm a little more awake and lively, 
And by all means, I'll play a little bit more of it. It's not offensively bad, but it's far from what I would call good as well. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, are you okay? We ran back to find help. Yeah, I'm fine, but I need to figure out a way to capture these Twonkies before they take over the whole town. Now, what, what Ultra Lord do in this situation? I better go ask him. Well, I think we can safely ignore any suggestions Sheen comes back with. What are you gonna do, Jimmy? These things are starting to take over the neighborhood. Well, Carl, I have an idea for capturing these little Twonkies, but I need to think about how to capture those bigger ones. You better hurry up, Jimmy. I think I have what I need in my house, so it's time for action. Awesome. And wait, are we just teleported back to the house? Okay, didn't expect that. But yeah, as I was saying, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for a little bit more of an awake stream. Where we'll be playing... Oh... Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided exactly what game yet. Kind of wanting to play something I think I'll enjoy a little bit more, like one of the TAC games. Or the Inuyasha game that I picked up. Maybe a Mortal Kombat game or something like that. At the same time, I'm kind of like, I don't want to start too many games I'm going to want to finish as well. So a little iffy about it. Haven't decided yet, but of course we will definitely be playing Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, about halfway through the stream tomorrow. And we know we enjoy that one, so that should be fun. Hope to see you all tomorrow, and thank you for enjoying joining me tonight. <laughs> bye bye, y'all.